Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 25th, 2022 from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Discernment, verse 13. And we impart this in words, not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. Paul, again, is trying to tell the Christians in Corinth that he is teaching what God wants people to know. Paul is stating his words are not worldly thinking or worldly ideas, but that these ideas come from God himself. The last few words of that verse say, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. Again, Paul is just clearly stating that faith receives the word of God. But if you do not have faith, then this word of God is not going to make any sense. The word of God cannot be understood by ourselves, but we need God's gift of faith to receive that word of God. The spirit that comes from the world, the unclean spirit that we heard about yesterday, it will not understand God's word. But the word of God can be understood and believed and trusted in by those whom God has given the gift of faith. So Paul continues this line of thought and expands it a little bit more into the area of discernment. Verse 14, the natural person does not accept the things of the spirit of God for they are folly to him and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. As Christians, we make decisions every day. And in those decisions, we've got to kind of discern if this is something we really want to do or we don't want to do. We usually take this discernment for granted because we do it every day. But think of it in the lines of sin and obeying God. Do we want to obey God or do we not want to obey God? Sometimes it's really easy to make those decisions and sometimes it can be a, a little bit rough. At the end of the day, we may look over our day and say, yeah, I really wanted to obey the word of God, but I can't believe how many times I've sinned and I disobeyed God's word. And so Christians are then called to return to God, confess their sins and that they've fallen short of God's glory and that they still need to receive grace and mercy that comes from God. But this understanding only comes to us through the gift of faith. Verse 15, the spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. I don't know about you if you've ever heard anyone in today's world that says, don't judge me. Well, Every day we we judge, we make decisions, and that judging and that discernment is figuring out what are you going to do and what you're not going to do. So Paul is basically saying every day as Christians, we are going to discern or we are going to judge. Are we going to do one thing or not? Then Paul states that the Christian is not going to be judged by anyone. So are we judged? Well, on the last day when Christ will come again, there will be a dividing, those who believe and those who don't believe. However, I don't think that's what Paul had in mind when he said that we're not going to come under judgment. On the last day when Christ comes again, yes, there'll be a division, but let's think of it this way. Most people have in the back of their mind on the last day that they're going to appear before the almighty God and God's going to go through a nice long laundry list of every single mistake that they have made. That's not what Paul is talking about. Am I going to be charged for all the bad decisions I made? The answer is no. Christ Jesus has taken away the sin of the entire world. There's going to be no judgment of individual decision making but there is going to be a dividing based on faith. Do you believe and trust in Jesus Christ as your savior? Do you look to Jesus as for the forgiveness of sins or do you reject Jesus? 
We need to remember that when Jesus dies on the cross, he dies on the cross to, to defeat sin, death, and the devil. You and I are forgiven by Jesus. Thanks be to God. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.